well, the support so far. Thank you for sticking up with this. And um, on that point, I would like to mention that consistency is a big thing of progress. So whatever it is you want to do in life, just keep doing it and in the end you'll succeed because if you never give up then you're only going one direction and if you're heading one way one day you'll get there. Today we are uh, going to look at the vinyasa element. Vinyasa actually means um, placing with precision, moving with precision with awareness, understanding where you want to get to and getting there, knowing what you're doing. That element is always present in the sun salutations. Today I want to get, go through that uh, flow of mainly of uh, Chaturanga out of Down Dog, Chaturanga out of Down Dog. We have seen Downward Facing Dog. So today we're specifically working on Chaturanga Dandasana and um, Upward Facing Dog. I will talk a bit more about what's happening with the shoulders. Then once you know where to place your shoulders and your shoulder plates, then the whole flow is becomes safer and more accessible. All of these uh, ideas might be new to you, so at first they might be awkward, they might not feel right, but stick with it and work hard. And by working hard, you make things um, not necessarily easier, but they come with more ease. Before I go to the sun salutations, I would like to talk about the shoulder block. This is called Amsa Banda. Amsa, shoulder, Banda, block. What we're doing in Chaturanga, so Chaturanga is the low push-up position. Um, we're we have our arms here. This is all that's happening. So it's this right angle and we push our elbows into the ribs. The fingers are spread and then we're pressing down through the knuckles, the root knuckles, especially the index root knuckle. I always stress the index root knuckle because once that's grounded, then all the other knuckles are forced to be grounded too. And also your root of your the root of your thumb should be grounded. Now, here, let's see what's happening with the shoulders and the shoulder blades. What you want to do is again avoid the turtleneck. So we want the shoulders to come back and down. What's happening with the shoulder blades is that they come down, and then you press the elbows into the body and you press the inner shoulder blades forward into the ribs and then you keep everything zipped up root lock in up navel uddiyana banda stomach lock in and up lips closed and that way by then having the shoulder lock you feel so strong and compact nothing can happen to you so I remind you, the shoulder lock is very simple. Shoulders back and down, shoulder blades together, and then inner shoulder blades in and forward into the center of the chest. Lower inner shoulder blades in and forward into the lower ribs. And this is your chandranga. <laughs> okay. That was the shoulder lock. Now let's go back to our vinyasa. We were standing up at the front of the mat, arms in front of the chest, inhale, arms up, reach up. So here we elevate the scapula and we gaze up. Exhale, fold over the legs. And we'll talk about full folds another time. Inhale, half lift, shoulder blades stay back away from the head front of the head, forward. So I do not raise the head. I feel that it's too much pressure on the neck, that it's up to you. But for me, you 
find this pindu point and you bring it forward, the back of the top of the skull, forward and shoulder blades back. There is kind of contrast. And exhale, chaturanga. Here we go. So you press the hands down already, elbows in, and if you're more experienced, you can hop back to chaturanga. You keep the elbows in, you press the knuckles down, that way you activate your chest and you hop to chaturanga relaxing. And this is too much for now, then step back to plank, elbows in, chaturanga. And if this is too much for now, you step back to plank, you bring the knees down, elbows in, chaturanga. Okay, let's see chaturanga here. So chaturanga, as I said, elbows should come in so that you press the elbows onto the ribs and you activate your lats, your side body. You also want to press the elbows in to help you bring the shoulder blades back away from the head and the pin point forward. Everything is zipped in, so pelvic floor up, ribs closed, shoulder blades together and the inner shoulder blades come into the ground, lower inner shoulder blades into the ground and then inhale press the feet down and bring the head up for upward facing dog. So this is what's beautiful with this engagement with this um, Amsa Banda is that the shoulders are already ready for upward facing dog. So the shoulder blades are back, elbows in and then you just lift the head up. Elbows in, press feet together, navel in and out, ribs closed, and then you can slightly bend the elbows to help with that push of the inner shoulder blades forward. Gaze at the tip of the nose, tuck the toes under, and exhale to downward facing dog. Try it, you may like it. <laughs> Inhale, let it plank. So plank, you press the knuckles down, that helps you protect the wrists. Elbows together, you move to the top of the balls of the feet, and then you exhale, elbows in, shoulder blades back. Inhale, arch the back, gaze to the nose, and exhale, downward facing down. Inhale to plant, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. So modifications, you inhale to plant, you bring your knees down, elbows in, exhale and inhale. So in chaturanga you don't need to come too far down. Traditional Chaturanga is like I showed before with this right angle. But we want to make it accessible. So if this is not happening, then be here. This is wonderful. Just don't bring the shoulders lower than the elbows because that can tear your rotator cuffs and we don't want that. We want to stay safe. So let the ego side, it doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle. I rarely do a 90 degree angle when I do it, it's by mistake. So you press knuckles down, elbows in, exhale to chaturanga. Here it's fine, here it's fine, here it's fine, here it's fine, here it's not fine, here it's fine. And then you press and you lift the crown of the head forward and everything's already set up for you. Press the top of the feet down. Navel in and out, ribs together, and elbows can come in to press the inner shoulder blades forward and open up the chest. Exhale, you roll over the feet, or you simply come <laughs> to the sole of the feet. <laughs> and you find your strong downward facing dog. We've talked about downward before. Now to end the vinyasa, 
you can walk the feet to the front or you can hop if you wish to hop then keep your arms locked bend the knees gaze forward and as you inhale you keep that lower belly in that Udhyana Bandha that's what's gonna help you have more strength and from there you inhale and you make no noise <laughs> while you're hopping forward shoulder blades back channel the head forward exhale fold shoulder blades again away from the front of the head and inhale reach 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 up exhale hands to chest okay this is all i wanted to say so tomorrow we have access to our um sun salutations in sun salutations there's also warrior ones so i guess i could mention that but very briefly so warrior one has a back bend in it but you want to focus on that zip here to keep everything safe just like in an up dog so in warrior one the back foot is at a 45 degree angle and you lift the back thigh forward the front butt cheek back you seal it all up hand together and you gaze up keep pressing outer feet down keep pressing center of the heels down pick up the pubic bone pick up the chest bone reach the fingertips up okay more will come tomorrow thank you for joining